Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Oftentimes I hear people tell me that they want to see more budget guns and sometimes they say, you know what, we like it that you review budget guns. That's what we want to see, something that won't break the bank, something that is within the working man's budget, something that we can pick up and not feel financial pain with our bank accounts and, and I completely understand that. But what confuses me in today's market is what exactly is a budget gun. Now, I remember back in 2012 when Canik was released, the TP9 was selling for 300 bucks, and it lit the internet on fire. People were saying, this is a Glock killer. They always say that. You know, this is going to be a Glock killer. Glock was 500, five and a quarter back then, and now they're saying you can get a TP9 that offers everything that a Glock does, for a lot less money and it's a budget gun but as time went on can it then began to get highly involved with Cerakote you could get everything from brown red white you know they still do that and their features increased and also their price increased if you look at the newer Canics they're between 450 and 550 dollars I think they're out of the budget category especially if you want optic ready handguns when that craze became so popular canic met the demand but the price increased is canic still a budget gun considering the tp9 back in 2012 was 300 dollars we're not seeing that anymore now you look at the dagger the dagger came out 300 dollars very few people want that base model for 300 dollars you look at the optic ready models, the threaded barrels, and all the additional colors that they offer. The price increased quite a bit. If you want just a bare bones dagger, yeah, you could you could still get that, but that's not what the market is demanding. Is it still a budget gun? I think it's right on the cusp of, of being budget, but I'm not so sure that everybody's going to go with what that budget gun offers. Taurus. Taurus has been making budget guns. Their reputation once was horrible, but the the G series really put them back on the map and people started taking notice. And the G2C, then the G3 series C, then the G3 series remains in the budget category, somewhere between $300 to $350. I'm not talking used guns. I'm talking MSRP from that to the gun store price. Taurus offers budget guns, but if you look at the ones that have a lot of the additional features, the price increases not quite as much, but the Ruger Security 9, when that came out, that was a $350 gun. It fit that budget category. Right now, it is nowhere near that. So when I hear we want to see budget guns, what exactly are we talking about here? Inflation is at an all-time high, double digits and everything else. These manufacturers are feeling some of that pinch. Do I feel bad for them? Am I shedding tears? No, but I understand that their materials are more, their labor, labor costs are more, and what they need to get back in return is going to be more as well. Budget guns can be hit or miss. You know, you look at Sky. You know, some people love them. Some people don't like them. I've had decent luck with Sky, but I've had some issues as well. Those remain in the budget category, but what are you sacrificing? We're not talking about a baseball glove. We're not talking about a, a hockey stick or something that we're going to use recreationally. We're talking about the very existence that is going to be the difference between life and death when we talk about protection for our families. Now, am I suggesting you go out and get a $1,100 gun? No, but I'm confused as to what a budget gun is these days. You know, we can look at many of the models out there. TSIS is a good example. A lot of people say we want to see budget guns. I, I did a review on some TSIS models and nobody seemed too interested. I'm, I'm confused by that. At TriggerCon, many of the models were high-end. The Lionheart Vulcan 9, the Oracle models, the CZs, and the Dan Wessons, they, they're high-end. Okay, the Double Stack 1911s that have become so popular. You will struggle to get something of that nature under a grand. Now, Gearson, another 
budget gun company. Their prices are actually increasing a little bit too. You're over $400 for most, most gear signs, sometimes closer to five and a little over that. So what is a budget gun? What is your expectation for a budget gun? When you go to a gun store, what is it that you want to pay that you could say, hey, I bought this in that budget category and I'm happy with its performance? Because sometimes there's a big difference between the price you pay and the performance it delivers. And if the performance isn't there, is it still a budget gun just because it works? Or is it something where you say, you know what, I could spend a couple hundred dollars more and get something that I really want. That's another thing I hear often. People say, if you get a, a Glock, you just spend a couple hundred dollars more than what you have. Save up for it. I love budget guns. I love the, the Taurus series. I, I have several. Uh, I like what TSUS is doing. I like what Diamondback has done with some of their budget guns. But some of the others have increased in cost quite a bit. And I believe it's Remove, they've removed themselves out of the budget category, and now I am just so confused what budget guns really means. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.